and they'll be looking forward to more intense racing but uh, in a moment in fact right now we're going to show you what happened in the first MXGP race one uh, because it was uh, a fantastic affair and one with a twist on around about lap 13 Let's take a look shall we Roman Fevre over on the left-hand side. Gate number one with his second foxhole shot of the season. Seaver alongside him in second. Prado to his right in third. Mitch Evans in fourth. But he's obviously on the outside through turn two. He did emerge in that fourth position, though. Or briefly into third. And then Seaver got him back. And then Koldenoff was just there behind him in fifth place. But then heading uphill, Glenn Koldenoff got the better of Evans on lap two. To move into fourth place. And then Evans then got caught by Fernandez as he moved ahead into fifth. The Australian eventually would come home in ninth position. Roman Fevre led though and he was starting to build up a six second advantage over Jorge Prado. Who was chasing him down in second place. Mitch Evans there coming under attack and Dalby Ferrato went between him and Benoit Pacharel. He started the lap in eighth. In fact, he entered the corner in eighth and emerged back in sixth place. Then Roman Fevre threw the lead away on lap 13. Picked himself up. Prado had already gone through. He tried to give chase, but then he was under pressure from Jeremy Sewer in that third position. But then on the final lap, realised he had enough of a gap and he could cruise home in that second place. But for the eighth time this year, Jorge Prado, Red Bull KTM, uh, Red Bull Gas Gas Factory Racing, crossed the